When you hear the words counseling and therapy, what comes to mind? Some people picture money flying out of their wallet, but one charity in downtown Young East is trying to change that perception. So the Green Line team checked it out to learn more. Students dominate downtown Young East, but with books comes burnout and sometimes mental health struggles. That's why Hard Feelings helps locals deal with, well, their hard feelings. The charity provides low-cost counseling so clients can get support without breaking the bank. It's trying to help a new generation here embrace therapy. We wanted to be this street-level presence where anybody can come and walk in and have those conversations and see that counselors and that the people here to help are just like regular people like me and that we're happy to have these conversations and that there's nothing wrong with having those conversations. In February, Hard Feelings moved from its original location at Bloor and Ossington to Church in Girard, where over half of the neighborhood population is between 15 and 39 years old. Since opening, the teams conducted community surveys via Instagram, storefront QR codes, and pop-ups. They want to identify local gaps in mental health coverage for these Gen Z and millennial Torontonians. What they're looking for is really a, a place to get away. Uh, get away from busyness, get away from the typical places where you might go to study, and we're something sort of in between. Um, and really what that allows us to do is sort of open up those conversations around mental health. A big part of Hard Feelings work is connecting Torontonians who seek mental health support to resources and to each other. Last month it hosted a pop-up to attract passers-by into this space. The team gave tips on how to navigate available resources. Caring for your mental health and building stronger mental health comes in many different aspects and sometimes it comes from like engaging with peers. So that's why I wanted to invite the vendors because each of them had an aspect of their mental health journey either in their products or like in their own practices. Executive Director Kate Scowen previously worked at Toronto Metropolitan University's Counseling Centre. So she was familiar with the mental health needs of this neighbourhood's young population. Free therapy meant long wait times, but shorter wait times meant pricey therapy. That's why Hard Feelings offers low-cost counselling to fill in that gap. Students often have limited health insurance from their post-secondary institutions, which means its sessions are basically free with short wait times. In many ways, it becomes kind of free counselling for them because we can bill directly, most of the counsellors, um, but they have more capacity, so it, it, it made sense that we were able to expand our rates a little bit to kind of make that work for counsellors and clients as well. Signing off, I'm Anita Lee of The Green Line reporting with City News.